Hey guys, it's Ryder here. So, I just did a Gotham Season 2 review, Episode 1, yesterday. Um, and I was really getting into all the villains and everything and the whole episode overall, and it was an awesome episode. Then, just last night, you know, right after I upload that, before, you know, they, of course it just happens, right after I upload the video, they announced that the Court of Owls are coming to Gotham, Season 2. And then it made sense. Then all those questions we had about Theo Gallivan started to make sense. Theo Gallivan's not Ra's al Ghul, so get that out of your head. And he's most likely not anybody bigger than that, most likely not the Mad Hatter or anything like that. Right now, my money is on that he's actually going to be Talon. Now, this is pretty cool. The Court of Owls. You've heard the name. The Court of Owls. They, that is one of the biggest Batman storylines, probably one of the best, honestly, that has happened within the last 10, 20-ish years. Batman's had some really great stories, and this was one of them. And it's the other great part about this story is that it is modern. It's a modern one, so it's not like you have to you know, dig through your comic piles from 20 years ago to find this story. It's like within the last 10 years. So it was a, it's a really good one. And it involves Talon and it involves, you know, of course, the Court of Owls. Now, who are the Court of Owls? So they are like a secret underground. They're not really underground, but it's like a secret, like behind the scenes, like very much behind the scenes group or organization, a very small organization, that has secretly been running Gotham City for a long, long time, but nobody's known about them. And they are very smart, they're very, you know, uh, precise. So, of course, that's a really interesting concept, you know, they're, they're smart and precise and on point and evil. Um, and they're shadowy, and they're sketchy, and they're, you know, it's all of that, and that's why they were so fun. And they were probably some of the hardest for Batman to take down. Now, it's not because they were big or rough and tough, but it was more because they were so clever, you know, and um, very wise. So that's why that was really a big thing for uh, Batman to take him down, because of how they, you know, they've, they've been running Gotham secretly, you know, in the shadows for such a long time. So it's very easy for them to get away with simple stuff. Um, but really, uh, the big thing is, you know, we don't know how or when they will be introduced into Gotham, which is kind of weird, right? Uh, because most of the villains and their arcs have, you know, they, it, they've been, they've, we, we know what they are as of right now, mo mostly. The only character we don't know much about is Theo Galvin, and, uh, everyone is saying, you know, Theo Galvin might be Ra's al Ghul. I don't think so, but uh, because he's not a character from the comics, it would make sense that he he was secretly some. I mean, as the name Theo Galvin is not from the comics, so it would kind of make sense that that would sort of be like a fake name for him, for an actual big character. Now, I my theory is that he's Talon. Now, Talon is a Batman villain, and he was somewhat of the head of this um, the the Court of Owls, or at least a big part of it. So, I think when we saw in episode one, what we saw happening, you know, when uh, he was recruiting all those villains from Arkham, I think he was starting to build his, his Court of Owls. And I think that he is the head of this Court of Owls, and secretly him and Tabitha, you know, Tigris, they have been, you know, their family has been running Gotham. And uh, I think that Theo Galvin and Tabitha Galvin will be around for multiple, multiple seasons. And they will be like that big, overall lurking villain. I mean, maybe they were behind Bruce Wayne's parents' murder. Maybe they were behind, you know, Jerome the, the Joker. You know, all these different things. All these big things that have happened so far in Gotham. Season 1 and Season 2, they could have been behind. Um, I don't know if I'm expecting him to put on a suit. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him take on the name Talon. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, we know his sister's Tigress, but, uh, I don't know. I think they definitely w will utilize 
like the masks, you know, the white masks on, with the, you know, the people in the suits underneath them. I think that they're really going to go ahead and really try to get this done right. The quarter vowels are very important, and I think that they're going to keep them as round, around as long as possible. So then they can go ahead, and then by the time, you know, Bruce ends up eventually putting on the cape and, you know, and the cowl for, as Batman, probably in like the last episode of the series... We will be able to have, you know, all these villains are, you know, set up for him. But, like, the Court of Owls and Talon, they will have been the overall big threat the whole time. So, I that's what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Would you be happy uh, to see something like that? Uh, would you be, you know, kind of, like, what's going on? Do you... if still like not sure who these guys are so maybe you're not that excited uh but if you're a comic book fan and you like talent and you like the court of owls is this a big day for you it's a big day for me um hopefully we'll be able to get more info on this that we've only just gotten like the brief like announcement but um there's definitely going to be more info released on this and i will be reporting that to you guys as it comes out thank you guys so much for watching please remember to click share like subscribe and uh yeah, like I said, let me know. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep writing, guys. Bye.